All right. Hello, everybody. This is Morgan from MorganLinton.com. I'm excited to share with you my book review of a brand new book by Guy Kawasaki, and this is called Enchantment. I'm actually really, really excited about this. I was able to get this as a pre-release copy and read it before it came out. Now, it came out today. Today is Tuesday, March 8th. If you're sitting here watching this video, the book is out. You can go to the store and buy it or buy it from Amazon or all those wonderful online places. But I thought I would share with you my thoughts about the book. I also have a written review on my site for those of you that go, oh, I don't want to watch some video about someone talking about it. I want to read a review about a book. There are words in this. That makes sense. But I would like to read um, a few of my favorite excerpts from the book and share with you what I thought really made the book special. It's all about enchantment, how to create a company, an idea, a business that enchants people and grows a following. And you know, the example he starts with is Apple, which is a company that Guy Kawasaki has a ton of experience with since he was uh, the chief evangelist there, really, from their early days. So I have a couple uh, things I'd like to read. The first piece here um, is on page 19 in the chapter uh, titled, How to Achieve Likeability. It says, what are your passions? Do you hide them under a bushel? Instead, tell the world that you love cooking, hockey, NASCAR, knitting. Whatever it is, because pursuing your passions makes you more interesting, and interesting people are enchanting. That's cool. Like, short paragraph, but that, I think, really sums up a lot of what this book is getting at, which is, you know, follow your passions. Don't just do something to make money. Enchanting companies aren't companies that necessarily are trying to make a fortune. They make a fortune because what they do enchants the people that use it and makes people want to use it. All right, my next quote is... Uh, in a chapter titled, uh, How to Launch. And he says, When you try to immerse people, ask yourself, what would make me lose myself in the moment? If you don't have connections at an organization like strategic operations, think of an immersive experience as a good amusement park ride. You don't think about anything except the ride while you're on it. That's the test. A hard one, but achievable nonetheless. I think that's so cool. I mean, if you think about this, so many of us get so wrapped up in our own ideas, we can sometimes lose the fact that it has to be for more than just us. It has to be for everybody and for the masses. All right. Now, my last piece, it's cool because he goes through really all the different aspects of enchantment and even talks about, you know, what to do to enchant your own boss and how to enchant the employees that work for you. Um, but this, I think, is really interesting. And this is something people talk about all the time, but, you know, it's nice to hear it phrased in a little different way. Under promise, over deliver. We've all heard this. Assuming you haven't stopped reading or puked because of my recommendation to drop everything for your boss, the next step is to under promise and over deliver. To understand this concept, you can think of your boss in two ways. First, as your most important reference account. You never want to under deliver to such an important customer. Second, as a guest at Disneyland. Do you know that signs telling you how long you have to wait to get on rides at Disneyland are overstated? Then, when you get to the front of the line in less time than you expected, you're a happier vacationer. If you're wondering if I'm advising you to sandbag your, box, your boss, the answer is that I am. Specifically, whenever you can, set a goal that you're 120% sure you can hit in 80% of the allotted time. People who under-promise and over-deliver are more enchanting. Coming close and making a great effort is only good for kids, inspirational movies, horseshoes, and hand grenades. In other circumstances, you can either deliver or you don't. And look at that. This is a real video. you got a phone call going off in the middle of it. But you know what? I thought that was really cool because um, he's really talking about a concept that we all know, which is the idea of under-promising and over-delivering. And um, phrasing it in a way I think that makes a lot of sense, especially for people that are working and you know feeling like, well, why should I? Why should I exceed the expectations? And uh, it all comes back to this whole concept of enchantment. So... Really great book. I would suggest that uh, anyone that is interested in starting a business, running a business, creating a new technology, and likes some of that magic that Apple has, uh, I would definitely recommend Guy Kawasaki's book, Enchantment. And uh, I have no affiliate links or anything here. There's no way I can make money off of you buying it. All I can say is I recommend that uh, you read this book. It's a great one. And uh, definitely, uh, I'd imagine, will be one of the best uh, books about technology and business um, this year. So, thanks for watching. Morgan from MorganLinton.com. Hope you enjoyed my book review of Guy Kawasaki's Enchantment.